Hey up everybody, Magpie Gaming here, I hope you're all doing well, and in this video I'm going to talk about the next Battlefield game. Might seem like an odd time to talk about it, but bear with me. Now, a good YouTuber by the name of Westy that I follow, he is a great Battlefield commentator, he recently put a video out basically asking people what they would think of the next game if it was multiplayer only. And I think it's a really good question to pose because we're in this age now where a lot of games are just focusing on the multiplayer. Even though they've got single player campaigns, it seems like these single player campaigns are just tacked onto the side and not a massive amount of effort goes into them. Now obviously we had Black Ops 4 which dropped campaign altogether in, you know, in the favour of putting more resources and more effort into the multiplayer obviously with the um, battle royale mode as well they put a fair bit of development into that so it got me wondering you know would battlefield 5 have launched in a better state than it did if they hadn't have put the single player in you know if they'd had those extra resources that they used on the single player and moved that over to the multiplayer would it have launched in a better state it's you know that's one of those things where I guess we'll never know. But I think there is now a big argument for the next game just to be multiplayer only. Everybody pretty much buys these games for the multiplayer anyway. Yes, a lot of people will play the campaign, but once you've played it, you very rarely go back to it. You'll maybe play it a second time, say for instance, if another chapter in it is added, such as like what we had with Battlefield 5, where the final chapter was released a little bit later on. Maybe some people use it for some benchmark testing when they do you know, graphical changes such as just recently we've had DLSS added into the game so I've seen a lot of people benchmark that and use the single player to get a decent benchmark but other than that single player kind of just falls by the wayside very very soon after launch. So would it be in a better state if they didn't have a single player? Would anybody miss it? Battlefield games have always had a campaign, I've always enjoyed playing them but again, once I've played for it once, I never go back to it. Battlefield 5, I have only played one of the single player missions and then I went straight into the multiplayer and I haven't bothered with it since. The chances are that I probably won't play through it anymore, it holds no interest to me whatsoever. And another thing that you've got to look at is who publishes the Battlefield games. It is EA, arguably one of the most disliked publishers on the planet at any given moment. And, you know, they have shareholders to appease, so, and it's, you know, keeping people coming back to this game and playing it, it's only the multiplayer element that does that, the, the single player doesn't bring people back to it. So I guess if they went to their shareholders and says, look, we're going to drop the single player, we're just going to focus on multiplayer, I think they'd be very happy with that. Anybody can see, you know, that people don't play it once they've played it once, a lot of people don't buy it just for the single player, they buy it just for that multiplayer element, that's what everybody wants out of the game. So. So I can see the next Battlefield game definitely being just multiplayer only. Now I'm going to call it Battlefield 2020 because given the release cycles that's probably when we will see the next game release. But it's going to depend on how this whole live services works for Battlefield 5. If it starts to pay off then they probably will bring one out. If it doesn't they might delay by another year and decide what to do with the next game. You know, Do they go back to like a premium model again or should they keep it free? I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. What will the setting of the next Battlefield game be? Nobody knows right now. Me personally, I think because we've had World War 1 and we've now got World War 2, I think we'll move into maybe the Cold War era. We'll maybe see something based around Vietnam or something like that. You know, something around that age, maybe even moving into the first Gulf War or something like that. I think we definitely need to see something more modern. I think the, the World War 2 theme is good, I think it's been very well done, I mean I love Battlefield 5, I think they've done a good job with it, still a lot of work to be done with that game though, but I did want a modern setting. I, when the rumours came out that it could be Bad Company 3, I was really hoping that that was true, you know, a Bad Company game would be absolutely amazing, and of course they're all set, you know, in present or slightly futuristic scenes or as there was back then when it was released so i definitely like to see a modern day shooter come out for the next battlefield series the numbers for battlefield 4 are absolutely astronomical at the moment you know there are a hell of a lot of people that have just gone back to that you know they gave battlefield 1 the benefit of the doubt and they tried it and you know they tried to like it they didn't really get into it so they went back to battlefield 4 they've tried battlefield 5 to see if they would like that and again a lot of the players have gone back to battlefield 4 
So they definitely, you know, that tells Dice one thing and one thing only. That's the kind of setting that we want to see. And I think if they have to give up those extra resources that they use for single player and put that into the multiplayer element to make it better, then I am all for that. It shouldn't be like that in an ideal world. You know, they should be able to have enough resources, especially a company of that size, to make a good single player and a good multiplayer. But it always seems as though the multiplayer for at least the last two games, at least Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5, have struggled a little bit so if they move those extra staff over and those extra resources it could make for a better multiplayer coming out so we'll just have to wait and see where it goes with this one of course news about this next game will be very sketchy for at least the rest of this year we won't get any concrete knowing you know of any kind of information about the next one for a while generally it tends to be when they hold you know shareholder conversations that they have to outline what they're going to do over the coming year and that's how we found out information about that there was definitely a Battlefield 5 coming so it probably be something like that that leaks and we'll find out some information about the next game but I certainly wouldn't expect anything concrete until maybe at least this time next year but let me know in the comment section down below what you think would you prefer a multiplayer only game do you not bother with a single player you know let me know your thoughts and feelings on it and as always ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching and listening don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one take care